This video will take you through the AES50 capabilities of the DL231. On the rear of the DL231, we have two AES50 channels, each with a primary and secondary XY port. Each of these channels can receive audio from the DL231 inputs independently of each other. The benefit of this is being able to adjust the gain settings for the inputs on one channel without affecting the other. If we go into the menu on the front panel, and to AES50 Sync, we can choose the AES50 Sync source for each channel. If we have two consoles connected to the DL231, then we can either set one console as the master clock source, or have both consoles clocking their own independent system with split sample rates. In the first case, where one console is the master clock, we would allocate one channel as the sync source for both of the channels. For example, if our master console was on channel A, we would set channel A to sync from A, and channel B to also sync from A. In the second case, where both consoles clock their own independent system, each console will be their own master clock. To do this, we would set channel A to sync from A, and channel B to sync from B. When we connect to our Pro Series console, we need to tell the console which AES50 port it is connected to on the DL231. To do this, on the console we go to Preferences and select either A or B. Another option on the AES50 Sync menu is to set to Internal Sync. We would use this option if we connect our DL231 to a device without a master clock. This could be for a standalone analog use or master clock in a system setup if required. The output source determines where the 24 analog outputs on the back of the DL231 will receive their audio from. We can select AESA or B inputs to receive audio from the consoles connected to the AES50 channels. Once connected, we can patch our audio from our console to the DL231 on the patching page. Another output source option is mic amp input. This means audio will pass from the analog inputs on the back of the DL231 to their respective outputs. The gain will still need to be controlled by an AES50 device. When we set our output source as mic amp input, we are given the option to assign gain control to either AES50 channel A or channel B. Once we've done this, we can disconnect our AES50 device and our DL231 will retain all the gain settings from before. This is handy if we want a straight through analog signal for a live performance or a recording, but a separate digital signal to be used for monitoring or as a separate recording.